Hi, my name is Adini and I'm coming to you from Boston, Massachusetts. So today I wanted to show you a couple of things um, working on the tie with the tie 4. So I have the tie 4X on right now and you can see it's strapped at my um, rib cage. And then if I look, if I show you from the back, I have the tie 4 cross. So I'm wearing it crossed in my upper body as well as crossed in my lower body. And it's a little hard to see with the black, but I did want to show you that it is crossed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use the tie four to kind of dial up a little bit of your child's poses as well and your restful poses. So we have the cross here going in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and lift my chest because it's going to teach me to do that. I'm going to draw my shoulders back and I'm going to take a child's pose where here I am sitting with my inner thighs connected and my heels connected and my seat on my heels. Okay, so what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to draw my shoulders back. I'm going to sit up tall. I'm going to place my hands on the earth. And remember, I have the cross behind me. I'm going to start to walk my hands forward. So here I am feeling some resistance from the tie four. So my hands are going to be forward. Let me just back up a little bit more so you can see me. Okay, so my hands are on the earth. I'm going to inhale, lift my chest up slightly, draw my shoulders back, press my hands down into the earth, and act like I'm pulling the earth toward me. As I send my chest forward, my seat back and my glutes down to my heels. Now I'm gonna go ahead, exhale, walk my upper body over to my right. I'm gonna draw my shoulders back. As my upper body goes to my right, I'm gonna draw my left hip back and then my left rib cage fan out. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my right hand as if it's pulling the earth toward me, and I'm gonna push my left hand as if it's pushing the earth away. The cross behind my back is going to put some resistance here into it. As I continue to lengthen forward, I'm also going to draw my shoulders back, right? Getting that push pull. Now I'm going to bend my right elbow. I'm going to draw my right shoulder back. Inhale, lift my chest. Exhale, press down a little deeper. Keep pulling the earth toward me as I rotate my left rib cage to the right. Then I'm going to inhale, return to center. Still have the cross. I'm going to go ahead and scooch over just a little bit. I'm going to exhale, walk over to the left. And I'm going to go ahead, pull the left palm toward me, push the right palm away from me. Inhale to lengthen my spine. Exhale to draw my shoulders back and sink down deeper. And I'm going to get that lateral stretch, right hip back, right rib cage out and back. Now, just to add some dynamism to it, I'm going to bend my left elbow, continue to pull the earth toward me with that left hand. Push, pull. I'm going to inhale, come up a little bit, let the resistance happen, and exhale, lengthen and fold, supporting my lower back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lengthen and fold. Now I'm gonna inhale, return to center. Remember, I have the cross behind my back. I'm gonna bring my hands down onto the earth and right here, pulling the abdominals in, I am on all fours and you can see how resistance in my upper back. So now I'm gonna tuck my toes and I'm gonna exhale, hollow out my abdomen, round the thoracic spine and I'm gonna rock back and forth here. So this is gonna be like a nice massage for my back. It almost reminds me of spine massage on the reformer that feeling, that sensation. So I'm rounding my spine and I'm basically rocking my cat back and forth, feeling this nice release in my low back and a little bit of resistance in that mid upper back. Now I'm gonna inhale, lengthen my spine to come to all fours. Notice how with the cross back here by my buttocks, I get feedback to lengthen, not to hollow out and round, but to lengthen, drawing my abdominals in. Now I'm gonna keep my left hand down to the earth. I'm gonna square my hips and I'm gonna inhale, open my right arm out to get a twist and then build some more resistance and then stretch. I'm gonna exhale up and over, framing my right ear with my upper arm. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, press, press, press down and lower. See where the strap is? Now we'll do on the other side. Draw that left hip back. Inhale, open the left arm up. Look to the left, square my hips. Then I'm gonna exhale, work with that resistance, reach the left arm up and over. Inhale, lift the left arm up, and then exhale, return back to center. And from here, I could just shift back to a child's pose, lengthen all the way forward and soften. And you can see that I do have the upper back cross here and my lower body's also crossed, but today I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate a couple of arm variations just in the upper body here in a relaxed kind of seated position. So with that cross, I can go ahead and reach my arms out and down. So notice that my hands, the shorter loop is wrapped around my hands and I'm gonna go ahead and root my left arm down as if I'm trying to reach through into the earth with the heel of my left palm. With my right hand, I'm gonna go ahead and inhale, reach my arm up and reach through the heel of the right palm. I'm going to draw my shoulders down the spine. I'm going to lift my chest. And with the cross on the back, I'm getting feedback in my back that helps me to open up my chest. 
Now from here, I'm gonna turn my right palm to the left. I'm gonna turn my left palm to the right and my fingertips are gonna to touch the earth. I'm gonna root my right seat. I'm gonna exhale up and over to the left and look to the right. So I try to take my gaze beyond my right inner elbow here and I'm fanning my right rib cage out. So my hips are gonna stay squared. I'm gonna let that right rib cage fan out. So I'm taking a big side bend with some resistance. Now I'm gonna inhale, press up into the hand loop. And I'm gonna exhale, continue to press up and into the hand loop, root my right seat, look to the right and reach to the left, dropping my right, my left shoulder down. I can even reach my fingertips down and push the earth away because I can get that touch point down. Inhale, press up and through. Exhale, reaching the right arm down. So I'm gonna turn my right palm down, reach down through the heel of my right palm. I'm gonna square my shoulders out. I'm gonna adjust my shirt here a little bit. Now I'm gonna take that left palm, turn it to the left and reach up and then reach up toward the ceiling, heel of the palm. So think of heaven and earth, pushing the earth away, pushing the ceiling away, draw your shoulders down. Good, keep rooting that left seat, really important here. Now you're gonna turn your left palm over to the right, turn the right palm over to the left and down and you're gonna exhale up and over to your right, looking to your left, fanning your left rib cage out. Really root the right seat, really root the left seat. Feeling the stretch in the neck, feel feeling how the cross in the back in that um, tie 4X is gonna lift your chest so we avoid rounding because we have that feedback. We instead press up and through. We're gonna inhale, lengthen. And then we're gonna again, exhale up and over, reaching over to the right as you look to the left, fanning the left rib cage out. Then we inhale, sit up tall and exhale, release the arms. So that's one variation, another variation that you can just giving you a nice stretch along your lateral body, which is important for those of us who do any kind of desk work or office work. And it's also giving you some feedback through the back body so that you can lengthen as opposed to folding. So right now I have the tie four X and I have it crossed in the back. So you can see my upper cross here and I have my thumbs hooked for right now. But what I can do too is using a shorter loop, taking my hands and hooking it into the tie four. These are the longer loops. I'm gonna have a little bit more resistance here. And what I'm gonna do is just take a seat on my heels, sitting up nice and tall and drawing my shoulders back. And you can see that this is helping to open my chest and draw my shoulders back by default. But there are a couple of ways that I can choose to move with this on. So what I'm gonna do is do imagine a scooping action. So you're gonna see the crosses in the back. I'm gonna go ahead, turn my palms to face forward, draw my shoulders back, lift my chest, and then I'm gonna exhale, just float the arms up and build in some resistance. So think of um, like, for example, presentation, right? On a reformer, inhale, return the arms back, and then exhale, float the arms up gently. I like to think of like, as if I'm presenting a tray to someone of food, and then you can even bend your elbows back, hugging those inner elbows in, thinking of framing your rib cages, and exhale, press through the reach of the arms, drawing your shoulders back, inhale, bring those elbows back in, exhale, press through and forward. It's a little bit angled here, so you can see, you can inhale, bend those elbows back, keeping a subtle little extension outward, like a diagonal line, and exhale, press forward. This helps to lift your chest. The other version is to inhale, reach your arms back, and exhale, float the arms up to parallel with this kind of expansive diagonal line. So that's one way. You're gonna feel this in the biceps, chest, shoulders draw back, and you'll even feel this in the core. 